Hi guys! Today we're going to make a cool robot. We'll start by making its legs from popsicle sticks. Oh, so we have so many sticks! Do we need them all? <laughs> the more the better. They should be 100 millimeters long. That's it? I thought our robot would be bigger. <laughs> That's only one third. And now we have all of them. And the last one. That's better. What's the first step? Let's see. We need to prepare four different types of pieces. Two sticks of this type, 32 sticks of this type, 16 of these, and two of these. Shiver me chatters! So many pieces! Ah! Let's make a template first. It should have two holes on both sides of the popsicle stick. Let's draw dots to mark the places for future holes. We finally get to use a drill! We haven't used one for so long! We'll need a 3.5 millimeter drill. Ask an adult to help you because it's quite a dangerous tool. Done. Since we need two sticks like that, let's make holes here too. Uh, don't tell me we need to repeat all the steps. It's so tiresome. No, grumpy Sam. We just put the two sticks together and drill holes using the template. Ah, they're like twins. Nice job, Susan. Guys, this is the final result. Four sticks of different sizes. Don't forget to cover all of them with acrylic paint. It's easy to get confused, huh? Sue, what are we gonna do with them? This'll be one of the robot's legs. I'll call them Krabby Legs. <laughs> uh -oh. Be careful, Sammy. Where are these coming from? We're gonna use these wires to connect the sticks. We'll need a steady robot after all. Ugh. Let's see who can make a leg faster, you or me. Challenge accepted. Done! It's time to make a wire clamp. Bend it and twist it this way. We should get a loop like this. Now cut it off. Done! And now we can put the leg together. I guess I want to! <laughs> no, Sammy, I'd say we're even. Let's see the result. But I've already gotten attached to it! Ugh, fine! Sammy, can you bring two sticks, please? Are we eating sushi? <laughs> Not the chopsticks, the other ones! <gasps> there they are! Nah, that's no fun! I'm gonna go find a fortune cookie at least! <gasps> there, guys! Our crabby legs are ready and well fastened! What do you say, Sammy? Mm -hmm. Sue, so, I've been thinking! Let's make them more stable! We can make heels for the back feet! That's a great idea, Sammy! You know what? I already made them! <gasps> Awesome! Wow, you're a true engineer! Let's attach one to the left leg and another to the right leg. Now it's done! Shiver me chatters, it looks like a moon buggy! Sue, how did you do this? It's simple, Sammy. I just connected the crabby legs with these three wooden sticks with small nails. And what is all that for? It looks cool, but I'm confused. If our moon buggy has legs, it also should have a body. I got it! It's like a living organism! Exactly! So we're making a platform where we can place... A gear motor! Right, Sammy! If you want to make a moving mechanism, this motor is a must-have! And we will use these spokes to connect the motor with the shortest sticks of crabby legs. These pieces will make it walk. Hmm, I think we're missing something. <gasps> right! A battery! The motor needs energy! Let's upgrade our mechanism. We can make it walk faster or slower. Let's connect the pieces. Guys, ask an adult to help you at this stage. Uh, I'm bored. Sue, give me a task too. Sammy, I'm a little busy now. Just use your imagination. Okay, but just remember it was your idea. Finally, the electric circuit is ready. What is Sam doing, by the way? Sue, check this out. I think this would make a great frame for the body. <gasps> Nice work, Sammy! You've even added these pieces to make it sturdier! Let's just place it above the platform with the motor! Now it really looks like a giant crab! <laughs> I can't wait to see how it walks! We can test it right now if you want! There we go! <laughs> I'm gonna catch this crab! Sammy. Okay, we need someone to control this moon buggy. Do you have any ideas? Sue, that's easy. Who could do it better than a robot? You're right. First, let's make a cabin for it. Pay attention. Make sure that the side pieces are shorter by a third. 
Before putting them together, let's cover the pieces with acrylic paint. I chose the blue color. It matches well with the yellow. Hey, check this out. Do you think we can attach this to our craft? <laughs> there is no buggy without propellers. Can you make one more? You don't need to ask. Just a moment. I'll be right back. While Sam's busy, let's add some decor. I add a metal frame to this opening. And a little button that will turn a future headlamp on. Are these glasses better than my original one? Sammy, are these the engines I asked you to make? <gasps> you broke my glasses! In the meantime, let's finish with the engines. This way… Oh, do you hear that? Sounds like cookies. I don't think Sam's upset anymore. Sammy! Yes, I see you recharged. I have an important task for you. Okay, I'm listening. Good job! That's gonna be the lower part of the robot's seed. Wow, it looks awesome! We also made a comfortable cabin out of just six pieces. See guys, you can make something cool in few simple steps! It's totally true. This box reminds me of one thing, by the way. Any ideas, guys? I know! UFO! Today the cosmic theme is everywhere! I just need to glue the last cabin piece. Woohoo! Sammy, our UFO is flying! Yay! Where is it gonna land, Sue? I'll place it on this round piece. That's the robot's seat. I think he'll be comfortable. What about propellers? We need a place for them, too. <laughs> sure, Sammy, I remember. Give me a minute. Mm, looks cool. I can use that, too. Catch this, Sue! <laughs> Careful, Sammy. Ah, uh, he always gets crazy ideas. The second one goes here. Looking good, huh? Ta-da! Check out what we're going to place on the opposite side of the cabin! Wow, Sam, it's really cosmic. But what are these for? Um, I haven't thought about that yet. Maybe these could be some kind of intergalactic GPS? Or they can get radio signals. <laughs> okay, we can think about that later. Guys, maybe you have your own ideas, too. Well, we made a cabin and crabby legs. Sammy, what else do we need? Um, crabby arms? <laughs> let's call them crabby claws, then. And I'm gonna show you how to make one. First, let's join a big cardboard cylinder with a smaller one. Now let's glue three identical pieces together. And the last one. The arm is done, but let's add some color to it. Wow, I think it looks cool! Check out the claw I've made! It's caught me just like a real one! Can you help me? <laughs> sure, Sammy. <gasps> Sammy, you're a mind reader! This is exactly what we need! Sue, where did these come from? These are lenses for the headlamp, remember? And they're needed to scatter light? <laughs> right, Sammy. Headlamps have light-emitting diodes, so I cover them with lenses. Guys, follow us! It's so fun! And this is our headlamp. Doesn't it look cool? The headlamp is cool, but we still didn't install the claws. Right. Actually, one is not enough. Let's just clone this one. And… Awesome! Sue, when will we see the robot in action? Don't rush, Sammy. Whoosh! Ta-da! What do you think? Are you serious? Sue, you must be kidding me! <laughs> of course, it's just a joke. We still need to make arms and a head. Phew. Okay, where do we start? We connect the arm with the shoulder, fix it, and attach it to the body. This way. Wow, they're so flexible! That's because I attach them using small pieces of wire and nails. Can't wait to see how he's gonna operate the moon buggy! The robot controls the robot! <laughs> what year is it? 2135? <laughs> By the way, the hat is almost ready. Whoa, he's cute! In a strange robotic way. He's glad to see you too. You can't see it yet, but his eyes are shining. I can't give him my heart, but, uh, I can give him this. Aw, it's so adorable, Sammy. I think our robot appreciates that. Ah, uh, if only he could send me a signal. Let's put him in the cabin and he will do that. Are you ready, Sammy? <gasps> it's working. Sam, can you see the signal he's sending? Uh, Sammy? How did you get in there? Uh, it's a long story, but thanks for saving me. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's put on this glass cap 
and set the cabin onto the crabby legs. Don't look at the ladder, otherwise our robot can't get down. Oh, okay, Sammy, great idea. And there it is, our moon buggy's ready. Wanna see how this robot walks? Follow me then. Alright, alright. This is test one, take one. Is everything ready? Then let's start! Woohoo! It's a total success! Congratulations, Sue! It can walk on different surfaces. Guys, guess who is going to be our guest today? This is Rick from Rick and Morty! And he's going to be a host for an alien! But first, we'll make a carcass of his smart head using cardboard strips. Rick would have been shocked seeing this experiment! <laughs> we'll shape the whole face like this, using cardboard pieces and hot glue. Be careful, it's very hot. We need to do it like this. There we go! His smile looks so crazy, but it's because an alien is living inside his head! Looks like an episode from Rick and Morty! <laughs> Guys, if you didn't know, Morty is Rick's grandson! And the whole series is about their crazy adventures! Oh, I think I can already see Rick's iconic features! Keep going, Sue! Like these big eye sockets! It's a part of the cartoon style! And... All done! Sue, so look! I found a ball! Oh, Sammy! This will be a perfect eye for our Rick! What? An eye? Uh-oh! Oopsie! I'd better go! Oh, Sammy! <laughs> Let's detach the cardboard model! Carefully! Great! Now there are two of them! They are just like Rick's clones! But we'll only need one! Looks cool! Now we have to divide this mask into two parts! We'll cut it according to the outline. Be careful with the cutter. Guys, ask an adult to help at this stage. So, you want to see it? There we go. This is what you should have. Oh, Sue, can I help you? Sure, Sammy. Take this part. Okay, let me see. That's better. What's next, Izzy? Now comes the fun part. Woohoo! So guys, we'll glue the paper mache all over the head. For this, we'll need a brush, lots of glue, and paper pieces. Yay, I'm ready too! I'll be working on the lower part of our space! Thanks, Sammy. Now let's apply some glue, like this. And here comes the paper. This way. Next, we'll add more glue on top! We'll need three layers of paper here. My dabba. I'm gonna grow old before we finish this! See? We've already finished! There was nothing to worry about, Sammy! Yep, it wasn't that long at all, Susan! You don't think that I'll believe this fake white hair, right? By the way, guys, we added some cardboard stripes all over the face surface to make it more voluminous! Don't forget to do that, too! Plus, we added small door hinges! Soon you'll know why! Okay, Sue. Actually, paper mache doesn't take that long. And it's quite fun. Since you liked it, Sam, I have another important task for you. Guys, we've made the back part of Rick's head the same way we did the face. And now, Sammy will add the paper mache to it. Oh, here we go again. And while Sam is busy, we'll paint the face. Rick and Morty have a very interesting life. They always travel to other dimensions and universes. And get in trouble a lot. But they always manage to solve all their problems. Eh, what? Did you say something, Sue? 
I'm saying that Rick and Morty are a great team, just like me and you. I could argue on that, but we still have lots of work to do. Both parts of our face are ready. Sammy, do you need my help? Thanks, Susie, but I think I can do it all by myself. There's just a little bit left. Okay, okay, Sammy. Guys, while Sammy is busy with painting, we'll be making the mechanism. The fun is starting now! It's gonna open and close the head as you wish. Sue, I already know who's gonna live in Rick's head! In the meantime, we put a paper stick into the heat shrink and now it goes into the cocktail straw. Guys, we'll use a remote control to open and close the head. I think it's a very cool idea! Susan, I have everything ready! Awesome, Sammy! And I finished our mechanism. Guys, here you'll have to cut the marker and put a nut inside and secure it with glue. Let's see how it's gonna work. There we go! Sue, while I was making the second mechanism, I got a question. If Rick is from dimension C-137, then where do we live? Hmm, I never thought about that, Sammy. But we can come up with the name ourselves. Oh, oh, Sue, I know! Let it be the slime dimension! Awesome! Whoa, I like it! Do you think your alien will fit in this armchair I'm making? Hmm, I think it's a perfect fit! Plus, it's my favorite color! Awesome! Hmm, maybe you can give me a hint? Who's it gonna be? Sorry, Susan, but in the slime dimension, we know nothing about hints! Okay, let it be a surprise! And our armchair is ready! Guys, don't go anywhere! We'll be right back in a second! So, we've made the sliding armchair for our alien! Here we used the same mechanism as before and glued it underneath! By the way, Sammy, when are we gonna meet your alien? Um, what? Oh, he's not ripe enough yet! Ugh, I guess I said too much! Okay, Sammy, you can tell us later! You did a great job here and even made an opening for the wires! So cool! But before we install the armchair, we should add the motor and some lighting. Awesome, right? Here we have the LED strip light. Plus two glowing handles. Do look! I found some motors and decided to attach the wires to them! Thanks, Sammy! Perfect timing! I just finished with the armchair and we can move to the next stage! Let's add some glue and install this at the bottom part of our head. Huh? Perfect! Sue, I found more mechanism parts! Oh, I know they are from the front part of the face! Did you say something about the parts for Rick's face? Don't put them away, we'll need them soon! We will, since I already installed them! <laughs> Thanks, my slimy friend! Whoa, great job, Sammy! Hey, Susan! Let's see… Did you forget about the eyes? How could I? Sure not! Don't be scared, Sammy. It's just a mask. It's coming out nicely, but we still have to work on the other side. Any ideas, Sammy? We can put some panels, buttons, and switches inside. Since it's not just a head, but a control tower. <gasps> right! Great idea! Huh? I love it! Hey, Sammy, why do you need the foil hat? Why do you even ask? This will prevent the alien from getting into my head. I don't want to disappoint you, but the foil hat won't help you, most likely. Cause we'll arrange the things here in the way you won't even think about going somewhere else! First, we'll cover the braces and we'll use the flexible part of the straw for that. Make a long cut like this. And just put it here. Looks like a real pipe! I have to come up with something cool, too! Here! Take these two computers! Wow, Sammy, this is so detailed! Let's place it here. Oh, Sue, be careful! I saw some radiation hazard signs! Oh, yes! Crazy scientist's mind isn't a safe place. That's why we'll make a safety barrier here. And add more wires. Huh? Uh-oh! Careful! Sue, I guess I know what to do with him. Guys, this looks so much better now, right? Sue, look, I also found a way to use the wires. Whoa! This looks so cool, Sammy! Guys, to make things work, we need to connect everything to this chip. Perfect timing, Sammy. Let's do this! That's where all the wires go. Nothing complicated at this stage. Sue, check out my spaceship! Whoa, whoa, whoa! 
Be careful, Sammy. It's our remote control. And now guys will need these blue cones. I'm sure you know why. It's for Rick's ultra cool hairstyle. Wow, so cool. It looks just like the real one. Hmm, maybe that's because we visit the same hairdresser. <laughs> By the way, Sammy, how is your alien doing there? I guess he is ripe enough already. What did you say, Sue? I don't know what you mean. I mean the alien that has to live inside Rick's head. Wait, what? Only Pickle Rick can survive in such radioactive environments. Wow, this is a masterpiece, Sammy. You really surprised me. Sit here, little great genius. Here, take this smart tablet. They say it helps to travel the universe. Now you're talking. So guys, it's time to see our craft in action. Do you agree that this is a mega cool craft? If yes, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel! Hmm, I wonder how our Pickle Rick is doing. So, Pickle Rick, are you ready? Hold on, Sammy. Ready for what? For an intergalactic adventure, of course! Whoa, cool! Can I come with you? Sure, Sue! But we'll need to make a bigger cardboard spaceship! Then we have a lot of work to do. Guys, thanks for being with us today, and bye-bye! Don't forget to hit the bell button so you won't miss our next videos! <laughs>